KTLA 5. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley, LAPD Chief Michael Moore, with a warning to people amid the spike in robberies across the city of Los Angeles, what he's telling folks not to do. Good morning, I'm Trevor Shirley in Washington. NATO leaders hold an emergency summit in Brussels as the war in Ukraine continues and they're announcing new sanctions against Russia. I've got the details coming up ahead. Good morning, I'm Erin Myers in Vernon, where Amazon Flex and rideshare drivers rallied for better pay because of gas prices. This is the governor announced a gas rebate. I'll have the details coming up. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Attention Dodger fans, what you need to know if you plan on making it to their home opener. And I'm Samantha Cortese in for Sam Rubin today. Uh, we're talking to a guest who married a news anchor. We'll ask him why. Just kidding, very brave of him. Plus, Eric Church tickets, you could win pit passes coming up later this hour. Still hot weather for today, but a gradual cool down is about to kick in, and we do have rain in the forecast for the end of the weekend and the beginning of next week. That's right, we're looking at getting some rain and even snow in our local mountains. 72 coastal today, 81 downtown, 89 in the San Fernando Valley, 86 high desert, inland empire, 89, Orange County inland, 85 degrees. Complete details in just a moment. Frank, back to you. President Biden is in Europe this morning attending an emergency NATO summit as the war in Ukraine enters its second month. NATO leaders are expected to put even more pressure on Russian President Vladimir Putin in an effort to end this unprovoked war. KTLA's Trevor Shirley joins us live from Washington, D.C. with more on that. Trevor, good morning. Frank, good morning. Summits like this typically take months to organize. This one, though, came together in just over a week. It shows how urgent the situation is that NATO allies are coming together to address. Earlier today, President Biden stood for a photo op with other European leaders to kick off the summit. It was also a moment to show a strong, unified front against Vladimir Putin. During the summit, the White House also announced new sanctions on more Russian lawmakers and elites. It also said the U.S. will accept up to 100,000 Ukrainian refugees as well as commit to another $1 billion towards humanitarian relief. NATO also announced it's adding four more battle groups on its eastern front, but there hasn't been much talk of a European ban on Russian oil. So far, Europe's dependence on Russian oil has kept most leaders there from embracing a full oil embargo from Russia. Some estimates say Europe still pays Russia around $1 billion a day for oil and energy. In the meantime, fears continue that this war could spill over into NATO territory, forcing a direct conflict between NATO members and Russia. Today.